off with the body paint on the chest. So I'm be doing her like her suit right here. Um, first, I'm be kind of like started because like first I was just playing like all black, then I thought about it. I was like, oh, I should probably mark out where the the green lines on her suit go. I'm I'm be following a picture for reference. Um, I'm using this picture for her body paint, and of course I have some other pictures with her makeup that look better, but. Let's see. Yeah, I'm basically, I'm gonna be doing this. But first of all, I'm gonna be marking off the little green marks right here. And it's gonna basically go on here. I'm like, I'm gonna mark it off right where. Body paint. I'm using Manhan's Paradise Makeup IQ um, waterproof. Um, I mean, the water activated face paint. My bad. Um, first, I'm be doing the black first, so I'm be doing that, and then after that, I'll be filling in these lines right here, green. parts with black eyeshadow already. I just use a Urban Decay's Blackout eyeshadow. Next I'm using this Morphe palette. Um, what number is this one? I don't know what number this one is. Um, it's, it has like a bunch of different colors in here. Um, I ordered this one because I lost some other palette that was pretty similar to this. So yeah, I, this is a new palette. So I'm using this dark green down here and I'm using a little brush and I'm setting the green with that green eyeshadow.
Next, I'm going to the eyebrows. I'm using, I'm using a dark brown color. I think her, her eyebrows look dark brown, so I'm going to be doing a, using dark brown. I'm using the Cosmetics Contour Palette. I'm using a little small angled brush, and I'm going to be basically lining my eyebrows. And I'm going to try to match my, I'm trying to like match the shape as best as I could with hers. So yeah, let's do that. <laughs> So before I forget, I'm going to kind of add some highlights to the green areas of the suit. So I'm using the Kat Von D's Satan Cinder Palette. I'm probably going to be using the shade Immaculate and Vestment and maybe even Exodus to make it pop out a bit more. So yes, yeah, so I'm also going to be using a little small angled brush. And I'm basically going to be kind of like highlighting these like little areas so I can pop out. Let's see. I'm going to try and get one of them. Just to give it like... Just to make it look more like, I don't know if y'all can see that, but yeah, just to give, make it more pop up more. Just make it look like really cool. And this shade I used, it was immaculate. And I might go back in later on and maybe like layer it more like Alright, so next I'm going to be using the Gwen Stefani, the Urban Decay Gwen Stefani makeup palette and I'm going to be starting off, I'm going to be doing like a black smoky eye just like how she has it. Um, normally when I start off with smoky eyes, I usually do these three colors, that's what I'm going to be doing and then from there I'll probably do, maybe even use this color and then of course blackout would also be the main color for that. So yeah, it's just gonna, I'm going to go from light to dark, like just like I always do with my smoky eyes. I'm gonna be using a blending brush and probably like a little small um, crease brush. So yeah, that, that, that would work great for that.
highlight. Um, let's see. First I'm going to use bath water and I might use either blonde or skin. I'm not too sure yet. But first I'm from bath water. It's kind of like a champagne kind of sparkly kind of color. I'm going to apply it right here to the inner corner of my eyelid. I noticed that Hella has, she has like a light inner corner right here like of her makeup. That's just basically about it. Cut it out. Okay, so I just finished applying mascara onto my top and bottom eyelashes. So now I'm applying some Kat Von D's Trooper Liner on the inner corners of my eyes, kind of like where I just highlighted. I'm just gonna be lining up my eyes. Eight. Okay, so next I'm going to be contouring my face with the Lunatic Cosmetics Contour Palette. And let's see what shades I should use. Um, I think I'm going to start off with this shade first. This one's like light brown. I'm kind of gonna follow like how her cheeks are, kind of. Yeah, I don't know what I'm saying, but she has like her face kind of like goes with that, like her cheeks. So I'm gonna try to do that. I'm gonna try to. And I'm gonna do like the straight down, like the dead looking contour and stuff, you know. But this time I'm gonna try to do this. Let's see. On the list, I'm using Lunatic Cosmetics um, lipstick in RPG. It's a really light pink, so I'm applying that onto my lips. Well, thank you guys so much for checking out this video. Make sure to leave a like and comment down below, and also be sure to subscribe for more that's coming up. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this look as much as I did. I actually had a lot of fun recreating this look. I saw the movie just a couple days ago, actually, and it was I thought it was really awesome. Hella, I thought she was really cool. She's such a cool villain, you know. I thought it was like, I thought she was really awesome. So, and I had been planning to do this makeup like long before I saw the movie. So yeah, so I'm really glad I finally got to do this. So I I'm really happy with how this came out. I actually think I kind of look like her right now. Actually, it looks pretty cool the way I transform my face and stuff. So I'm pretty I'm pretty happy about this look right now. Um, I had a lot of fun, so make sure you guys leave a like and comment down below. And also be sure to subscribe for awesome things coming up. I have a bunch of cool things coming up in the summer, so make sure you're subscribed to see that. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye!